What is going on, Team Prime? I am back with another review, and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Protectobot Groove. So before we get to any of this, let's get a look at the packaging. So here you have a nice big piece of artwork of Groove. Um, I did take out, like, the box is not in the best condition anymore. He is part of the Sky Rain Combiner build to form or combine to form sky rain on the back of the box you can see yeah it got damaged a little bit he is part of sky rain freedom fighter who would sacrifice his own spark if it would bring peace that is his bio that is it for the box also in the box you get the collector's card from combiner wars with that same artwork of groove on it and the Transformers Generations logo with uh, Hasbro's logo for the card. Groove comes with the typical hand foot gun from Combiner Wars. And he comes with these two nicely painted guns done up in gunmetal gray paint and translucent red. So get those off to the side. Here is Deluxe Class Groove, and I am so happy to have this. Like, you guys don't know how happy I am to finally have the Deluxe Groove mold. This was one of the figures from Combiner Wars that I wanted so bad, but I could never get. Because one, he was an online exclusive. So he is a police bike. Run this top end. There we go. He is a police bike. That doesn't like to... There we go. He has silver rims. Remember when they did this in Combiner Wars? Like, almost all the vehicle-based bots had silver rims. Like, I think pretty much almost all of the Autobot cars from Combiner Wars had silver rims. With a few liberties. Now, he does have ports. Uh, he has three ports. So you can tab his guns in. Right here. And you can take the hand foot gun. And put it right there. Now, for comparison... Okay, sorry about that. Groove fell over. Let's take these off before we get to that. So here he is. And now you don't want to stand up. Come on, buddy. There he is. And here he is with Power of the Primes. Jazz. Oh, my review station got bounced. Uh, bikes. Usually you don't have a hard time standing like this. So you can see how he scales with a deluxe car. Now, let's get Groove into his uh, leg mode for Defensor. So what you want to do is bring this section out. Then you can rotate these forward. Actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, ro just rotate them out. Rotate them to the side. And bring them down. And these are tight. These are tight joints. And then bring it down on this hinge. And there's a uh, peg right there that will peg into the, his arm. Uh, let's get this. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now you want to flip his head. Actually, let's flip it this way. Bring this back in. And it's your own personal preference what you want to do with his leg. You could leave this up, but you're supposed to rotate this down and then set it like that. 
Then you could take the combiner foot and plug that in. And there you got Groove as his uh, leg form. So he'll have knee bend, thigh swivel, foot swivel, toe tilt, ankle tilt, sort of. But if you don't want to use that, you can use a foot from a Power of the Primes figure, which I think I'll do, and he actually has tilt. So, there's that. Now let's go in his arm mode. So again, you want to bring this out. You want to bring this forward, and now we can want to rotate his head back so it sticks out. Bring these up. Take the legs and separate them via aerial bot system. Rotate this forward. Split the wheels. Do I have his legs tapped in? I don't think I do. Nope, his legs are not tapped in. Are they? Uh, this this leg legs give me trouble. There we go. Now peg the legs back together. Ah, never mind. You're supposed to leave these here from bike mode or from leg mode. Just rotate that. Now you want to put it. Make sure this locks back into place. Again, your own personal preference. What you want to do, you could leave this out like so, but you're supposed to leave it like this. Come on, feel like right standing. Well, he's not meant to stand in this mode. Fold that up and give him a combiner hand. And there he is, an arm. Cool. He has outward movement. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to leave that on peg, aren't I? I don't remember how this works, personally. Um, let me use the box. No, it doesn't show the, as an arm in the box. Ugh. If you, oh, if you want to, if you tab this in, you lose mobility. So just leave that untapped, I guess. So you can get the. Inward outward movement and all that. Maybe is his head supposed to go sideways? There you go. Just move his head sideways. You get the angle of outward movement, elbow movement, bicep rotation, uh, thumb, hands, all that. Uh, let's get to his robot mode. So, bring these up, rotate them forward, split his legs, and you're done with the legs. Rotate that up. That should lock into place. Now you can bring the arms all the way up and rotate them forward. Rotate the head. And there is Groove in his robot mode. Now we have to raise up a bit. Let's see, see him more. There he is. And I absolutely love this figure. Oh, this guy is just amazing. Yeah, he's got a backpack, but I don't care. This guy is amazing. Um, the thing now I don't like. Although, light piping. We haven't had that in such a long time. The back of his head is translucent plastic. 
but he has light piping, which again we haven't had in some time. Articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It's a very limited ball joint. You can see it back here. Uh, arms can do a full 360. They are on a ball joint in and out. There is a bicep swivel. Elbows are on a very stiff ratchet joint. Thigh swivel. Leg or hips can go forward. They can go back in and out. Thigh sw or waist swivel. Thigh swivel. My bad. Knee bend. Nothing at the feet. Now, you can give Groove his gun, or both of his guns, so he can be a dual-wielding bot, and then put this back in its thing. He has a port right here on the bottom of his arm, so if you wanted to uh, duel it up like that, would I don't display these guys in robot mode with these things, so... There is Groove. And again, this is optional. You could leave this up if you wanted to. That's more uh, Afterburner than it is Groove, so I'm just going to leave that down. And this wheel section is on a mushroom joint, but it's um, a very... Take caution if you want to rotate this, because this is on a very thin uh, piece of plastic. Like, it's on a stick, on a bar that... You have to turn the wheel to move the joint, and I don't want to crack that, so I'm not going to even try to mess with it as much. But, uh, yeah, there's Groove. Now, for comparison. Alright, starting off, here he is with uh, a more recent uh, Deluxe. Here he is with Power of the Primes Jazz, which is another combiner. Uh figure, you can see Jazz and Groove look pretty good together. And just for Voyager comparison, and because he's the same old as Hotspot, here he is with uh, Inferno. There you go. Now, I am going to combine him with Inferno and Jazz as legs, so you guys can see what the defense sword thing is supposed to be like. So, let's uh, get to that. I will be Alright, so here we got uh, my Inferno Combiner. Let's get him looking forward. So I got Jazz and I got Groove hooked up as legs, and Jazz does not want to stay together right now. But, uh, if you had Hotspot for Defense Sword, that's pretty much what this would look like. Groove as a leg. Let's just pretend that's streetwise or first aid. But, uh, yeah, if you want a size comparison with another deluxe figure, here's Dreadwind to a combiner. Let's go all the way up. There we go. And. If you want a Voyager, here's Titan's Return, Optimus Prime. There's that. Now I'm going to get Groove back into his uh, robot mode, and we'll be right back. Alright, so here we got Groove back in his robot mode, and all I gotta say is this is just a great figure. People who had their ups and downs with Combiner Wars, with their repaints and all that, like Inferno, who's just a repaint, but this was something that I've been at, this is something that I've been after for almost three years now, because originally, I don't think Hasbro was even planning on releasing him in deluxe form. But due to extreme demand of him, after we got Quick Slinger and Breakneck, we had to get him. And, and I mean, if it weren't for the power of the fans, we wouldn't have gotten hit either. Like, we wouldn't have gotten the more proper uh, G1 Blast off. So now my Defensor will have the proper member 
of who they need. Also, I just wanted to squeeze in this comparison. Hold on. Here he is with the uh, Titans return void drop for this Prime. The only reason I'm using him for scale right now is because I don't have Siege Prime yet. But uh, other than that, I love this figure. This is my favorite Combiner Wars, third favorite Combiner Wars Deluxe Mold in the entire toy line. Like, like one of my few favorites. Blast Off is right there in one of my other favorite categories. So, that has been the review of the Transformers Generations from Vital Wars Deluxe Class Protectobot Groove. I highly advise you guys pick this guy up. He is a superb figure. Hey, if, and if you want, Power of the Primes just made this guy into Rekgar, so... If you guys are looking for a good uh, combiner figure of Rekgar, he is just a repaint of Groove. So, thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Peace out.